Good afternoon, and welcome to our Terrific Kid program, our third one this year. We are excited. I was just talking to Ms. Guilfo. This is one of our most favorite days because we get to celebrate all the good. Um, and there's a lot of good in this school, so we really have a, a wonderful opportunity to celebrate it. Not only that, but our cameraman, Anthony, it's his birthday today, so say happy birthday to Anthony. All right. All right. And this could not happen without the help of the Azalea City Kiwanis, who provide us with many treats for our wonderful, terrific kids. And to tell you more about that is our Mr. Charles Overturf. Thank you. <laughs> On behalf of fellow members, uh, Mike Harrington and our current president, Mike Perry, and about 60 other members of Azalea City, we just want to take a moment to welcome parents. And I see some grandparents and friends to honor these young people. It is a time to celebrate. I see the flowers and the balloons and sometimes the cakes and candies. And a few days ago, I even saw cupcakes, and boy, they look good. It's a time to celebrate because we're proud of what these students are doing. As he said, we've got a great number of students out here that are excelling. They're working hard on their grades. They're working hard on their character, on their attitude, and their behavior. Uh, so we think it's a well-rounded program, and we're certainly proud of each one and what they're doing. And we say to each one of these young people, thank you for what you're doing, and just keep up the good work. Thank you. We'll start with our littlest Rams. We have, first of all, in pre-K, Ms. Gilbert's class, we have Harlan. Harlan has been selected for Terrific Kid because of his fairness to all. He is respectful when he speaks to adults in the classroom. His peers often seek him out when playing. While learning rules, procedures, and how to take care of things in the classroom, Harlan shows responsibility by admitting when he forgets to clean up his area despite consequences of his actions. Fairness is a trait that is hard for a four-year-old to comprehend. I admire Harlan for being fair and responsible at such a young age. I am honored to be his pre-K teacher. Keep up the good work, Harlan. You are on your way to an excellent school career. Love, Mrs. Gilbert. <laughs> Mrs. Stamper has chosen Madison Conover for Terrific Kid. She says, I can always count on Madison to be fair. She is very thoughtful and cares about the others, other people's feelings. She is our classroom reminder about sharing and taking turns. These qualities make Madison well-deserving of being recognized as terrific kid. Congratulations. <laughs> Mrs. Bates' terrific kid is Mia Morgan. Mia plays by the rules, takes turns and shares, takes responsibility for herself and treats others with kindness. Thanks, Mia, for being a terrific kid. Oh, Mrs. Bates. <laughs> Not my teacher. Wrong teacher. Sorry. Thank you. All right. Jordan Kurtz is a terrific kid. In so many ways, he is courteous, fair, and considerate to everyone. Jordan treats people the way he wants to be treated. He is incredibly helpful to his classmates. It is not uncommon to find him leaning over someone's table to explain something or give them some extra help. Jordan is kind to all and is honest in every situation. No matter what the assignment, Jordan constantly gives 100% and always with a smile. Jordan is a great role model for our class and our school. I am very lucky to have him in my classroom Way to go, Mr. Terrific Kid. Love, Ms. Bach. And it is with great pleasure to have Scarlett Arthur as our class's Terrific Kid. I can always depend on Scarlett to set a positive example for her classmates. She is a fair, honest, loving, and caring student. I can always rely on Scarlett. She shows compassion and wants to make sure she follows the directions immediately. It is a pleasure to have her in my class this year. Scarlett, you are truly a terrific kid. Love, Mrs. Crawford. Focus. I chose Cameron McKinnon to be my terrific kid. He is fair, trustworthy, and extremely respectful. Cameron always raises his hand and waits for permission to speak. He is committed to his education and takes his academics seriously. 
Cameron is a wonderful role model for not only the students in his classroom, but for the entire school. Cameron is definitely a student others can look up to. He enjoys reading and he has read over 20 books this year. Cameron, you truly are a terrific kid. I am so proud of you. Love, Mrs. Fauché. Cheyenne de Leon is a remarkable student. Cheyenne's positive attitude and excitement for learning is contagious. She has made such amazing improvements and helps to inspire her classmates to work hard and all they do. She is always willing to help out her friends. She has a big heart and tries very hard to make sure everyone is treated fairly. I am so happy to have her in my class. Love, Mrs. Hess. Over here, baby. Andrew Rice <laughs> is a delightful student and is such a joy to have in class. His positive attitude and excitement for learning is contagious. Andrew is considerate to others and always treats everyone fairly. He comes to school with a positive attitude and is always willing to help others. He encourages his classmates and is known for telling others, you can do it. Andrew works hard and always strives to do his best. I am so happy to have him in my class. Love, Mrs. Railing. <laughs> Dalen A. Hirschberger <laughs> is our terrific kid. Dalen A. comes to school with an awesome attitude and ready to learn. She follows the classroom rules and encourages others to do the same. We are fortunate to have Dalen A. in our class. Thank you, Dylan A., for being such a terrific kid. Love, Mrs. Tomlinson and class. Thank you so much. Melanie Galloway. As a class, we voted for Melanie to be our terrific kid. Melanie is very fair to her classmates. She treats others the way she would like to be treated. She knows a true understanding of fairness. Melanie is the true leader when it comes to showing what fairness looks like and sounds like. Melanie never hesitates to take turns. When it comes to sharing materials, telling the truth, and playing by the rules are all qualities Melanie exhibits. She thinks before she reacts to ensure she protects her classmates' feelings, and most importantly, her classmates respect and appreciate being treated so fairly. Thank you, Melanie, for being fair. Congratulations. You are a terrific kid. Yeah. Michael Thames. Hey, Michael. Michael is a wonderful student. He works very hard in everything that he does. Michael treats his classmates fairly and with respect. He takes turns and shares with others. Michael is truly a terrific kid and a joy to have in my class. Love, Miss Foreman. Emily Vasquez. We have chosen Emily as our terrific kid because she has all of the traits of a terrific kid. Emily is respectful at all times. She plays fair and is patient. She is understanding and is a good friend to her classmates. Emily, you are a terrific kid. Stay loving and kind. Love, Miss Green. <laughs> Nate, I got you. Nate Whitehill. Showing all of the characteristics of a terrific kid, Nate Whitehill is our terrific kid for the month of kindness. Nate plays by all the rules. He's always able to wait his turn, and he has been known to let others go first to show good manners and concern for his classmates. Nate is unhappy if Nate is unhappy and is sometimes upset when students are not kind to each other. He listens to all sides and makes good choices before offering decisions. It is not easy to be fair, but Nate is a great role model for others. I am proud to have him in my class and be an example to those around him. Sincerely, Mrs. Kirby. Cassie Karima. 
Congratulations, Cassie. You are a terrific kid. You treat others in, in just an honest way. Being kind and caring are important to you, and also you're friendly to your peers and teachers. You are respectful to everyone and you are a positive role model in class. Cassie, you work together with your friends and you always have a wonderful attitude, kind words, and a smiling face to offer your classmates and teachers. You listen to others, treat others kindly, and demonstrate good manners. You are always honest and fair to everyone. Cassie, you are an amazing student and I'm honored to have you in my classroom. Thank you for all your sweet fairness, Mrs. Neal's first grade. Preston Phillips Tripp. <laughs> Preston was selected as Trippy Kid because he exemplifies what every student should strive to become. He greets me each morning with a friendly smile and a sweet attitude. He is a caring person. Many days he has volunteered to walk a classmate to the nurse without ever complaining. He is always patient and kind when waiting for assistance or working with classmates in centers. He does his very best in all his work and is meeting all of his academic goals. He is very respectful of all adults, whether he is talking to a teacher, tutor, or cafeteria worker. Preston completes his work in a timely manner and cooperates with his classmates at all times. He is a true friend to all and is well liked by others. One outstanding feature that Preston has is his comprehension and recall of any story that is read to him. He is a great storyteller for his age and very creative. Preston has such a sweet personality that he is a true joy to teach. His family must be mighty proud of him. I know I am. Mrs. Williams. All right. Caden Spared has, shown, has been chosen as terrific kid because she shows the characteristic of fairness. She is always on task and making sure that she is treating everyone kindly. Caden shows empathy, is always honest, and makes sure that everyone feels included around her. I appreciate having Cadence in class, and so do all of her classmates. The things Cadence does daily in our classroom make her an excellent candidate for terrific kid. Love, Ms. Agins. Good job. Good job. Good job. Jacob Bosley oh, is our terrific kid for fairness. He is always willing to share with others and go out of his way to make sure they have a turn at what they are doing. He makes everyone feel welcome and important. I know I can count on him to treat his peers the way they should be treated. Love, Miss Finlater. Good job, buddy. Right there. Go get the Thank you. Noah Chauncey. has been chosen as terrific kid for this nine weeks. Noah shows kindness and fairness to others at Interlochen Elementary School. He has an excellent manners when speaking to adults and friends. Noah cares about others and wants everyone to have a turn to be treated fairly. He is a good friend to everyone in class because the other students know that Noah plays and works fairly. The golden rule is our class motto and we talk about it often. Noah knows all about the golden rule and lives by it daily. Thomas Jefferson once said, whenever you do anything, act as if all the world were watching. Noah lives by this too. He is fair, compassionate, and empathetic. He is an excellent example of a student that exemplifies the characteristic of fairness. Congratulations, Noah, Miss Fontenot. <laughs> Mr. Greenin's terrific kid for fairness is Trinity Armington. The class had a discussion on the character trait of fairness. After reflecting on the trait of being fair, Trinity was chosen. In other words, Trinity is the fairest of them all. <laughs> great job, Trinity, and remember to always be fair. Congratulations and keep up the great work. Love, Mr. Greenan. Based on the character or trait of fairness, Mr. John's class is, sele is selecting Branson Frederick. For the honor of terrific kid. You can look that way. <laughs> Branson is a fantastic student and a great friend to his classmates. He always treats everyone fairly by doing things like taking turns and sharing school materials with all of his classmates. Branson is always truthful and takes responsibility for his choices. He always thinks about how his actions will affect those around him. Branson is a kind, caring, hardworking student who demonstrates the character trait of fairness in so many ways. Keep up the great work, Branson. Love, Mr. Johns. 
Our class has chosen Bella Hamlin for Terrific Kid. Right. Bella is always fair with her peers and it shows. Bella makes sure to take turns and listen to her friends with an open mind. Her classmates voted her because it was obvious to everyone that she cares about other people. What a great character trait to possess. Keep up the good work. Love, Miss Eusena. Third grade. Okay. Abigail. Her name's up. Abigail Emberton. <laughs> Abigail is a terrific kid in many ways, but today I honor her for her trait that makes up a huge portion of Abigail's character fairness. She is open-minded and listens to different ideas from others. She doesn't take advantage of other people and she doesn't blame carelessly. She treats everyone fairly. I'm so proud of you, Abigail, and very honored to be your teacher. Thanks for being terrific. Love, Miss Driver. Addie Alford. Our class has chosen Addie Alford as our terrific kid for the character trait fairness. We chose Addie for many reasons. Addie treats others in a reasonable, honest, and fair way. She plays by the rules. She always treats her peers equally, and she gives everyone a chance. Addie has many friends in our classroom, and she is a friend to everyone she meets. She always has a smile on her face, and it brightens our days. We are very lucky to have Addie as part of our third grade class. Congratulations, Addie. Way to be a terrific kid. Love, Mrs. Finch, and your third grade Great classmates. Isis Hackney. Isis is a very fair person. She is patient and a good listener to others. Isis is also considerate and tries to treat everyone equally. She shares and cooperates with others and is willing to help others in need. Isis also helps her classmates get along and consider another person's point of view. She helps them by serving as a role model. Isis is also very respectful and trustworthy. All of these things together make her a fair person, and I'm very proud of Isis and think she is one terrific kid. Miss Lamell's third grade. Skylar Hall. Skylar Hall, you are our terrific kid for fairness. I chose you for your honesty and helpfulness towards your friends and classmates. You follow the rules and play fairly. You always ask if there is anything you can do to help out. How you treat your friends and teachers is commendable. You are a great role model, and I'm so happy to have you in my class, Mrs. Logan. Jason Kratz. Jason is a wonderful young man and a model student. Jason is honest and kind. He treats everyone with respect. All the students in my class want to be Jason's friend. I am proud of you, Jason. Keep reaching for the stars. Love, Miss Sellers. <laughs> Kaylee Parker. First of all, I have to say that Kaylee is an absolute joy to have in class. She is an exemplary student and often goes above and beyond what is expected. Her peers chose her because they believe Kaylee treats everyone fairly. All of her classmates enjoy having her for a partner or as part of their group as she does not show favoritism but treats them all as equals. Kaylee respects everyone and is very helpful to me in the classroom. I would like to thank her family for being supportive and for raising such a wonderful little lady. Love, Mrs. Tomlinson. All right, just so you know, um, when we finish the program, we'll need all the terrific kids to come on stage so we can get a group picture. So, Alexis Graves. Oh, you know, Molly Morales. Fourth grade. Oh, that's fifth grade. Yeah, fourth grade. Oh, they switched. They switched. Thank you for knowing your name. That's good. I am proud to choose Miley Morales as my terrific kid for fairness. 
Miley is a great student who truly takes her consideration of the feelings of others in action. Her actions are fair, honest, and genuine. Miley is helpful in the classroom and treats her classmates with fairness and kindness. She plays by the rules as a student and as an athlete. Her thoughts and actions exhibit the qualities of a fair and caring student. I am very proud of Miley and the wonderful value she brings to our classroom and to IES. Keep up the good work. Love, Ms. Alexander. Jaslyn Hackney <laughs> has been chosen as our terrific kid for many reasons. Not only does she demonstrate fairness, but also she is honest, kind, and considerate of others. One of Jaslyn's most admirable qualities is her positive attitude. Her beautiful smile brightens my day. Jaslyn comes to class ready to learn and works very hard. She sets a great example for others in our class. Way to go, Jaslyn. Love, Miss Bohannon. Our class has chosen Sebastian Tolhurst for a terrific kid for the character trait of fairness. Sebastian takes turns and shares. He plays by the rules. He avoids blaming others and listens to others' ideas. When we think of the word fairness, Sebastian is the first to come to our minds. He truly exemplifies this character trait. We are so proud of you, Sebastian. Love, Mrs. Frady. This quarter, our character trait is fairness. Our class voted on the person that exemplifies this trait, and that person is Kenneth Evans. His classmates said the following things about why he should be a terrific kid. He is always willing to share his things. He is always nice to me, and Kenneth will play nice with me. Kenneth not only cares about his school, but his peers and teachers as well. I am very proud of the way he acts in class and is always ready to learn. Thank you and congratulations, Kenneth. Mr. Gear. Good job, Good job, Jonathan Thomas <laughs> was chosen to represent our class as this month's terrific kid. Jonathan exemplifies what fairness looks like. His classmates notice that he goes above and beyond when it comes to being fair, kind, courteous, and accepting responsibility. Jonathan also takes his role as a learner very seriously. He strives to improve and is always setting new goals. He is honest and helpful in all situations. He is a peacemaker in our room. We are beyond blessed to have him in our class. Love, Mrs. Hodges. Jonathan Blankenship. has been voted as terrific kid by his classmates because of his shining example of the character trait fairness. With a politeness and kindness that cannot be beat, Jonathan is respectful and considerate towards others in our class, treating everyone fairly. He is a role model because he is thoughtful, courteous, and is a friend to everyone. He is open-minded, listens to others' viewpoints, and plays by the rules. Jonathan is a well-mannered young man with only kind words for others, a helping hand when needed, and a positive attitude. He makes the classroom a better place by doing his part and more to ensure we have a positive classroom climate where we are learning and growing. This makes him one terrific kid. Love, Mrs. Knapp. <laughs> Nicholas Kramer is a terrific kid because he displays the characteristic of fairness. Nicholas is always willing to share anything, whether it's a classroom job, food, pencil, paper, or center materials, because he understands that it is not fair for another student to have none while he has plenty. When Nicholas gets a grade that is lower than what he expected, he understands that he earned the grade that makes it fair. Instead of becoming upset about the grade, he just tries harder next time, and his grade always comes up. I've never heard Nicholas say that's not fair, even when many other students are. Aside from fairness, Nicholas is a wonderful student all around. He is always helpful, he always tries his best, and most of all, he is kind to everyone, student and teacher alike. For these reasons and many more, Nicholas is Mrs. Markle's terrific kid. Now, I think. Huh. Alexis Graves. <laughs> Alexis was chosen as our terrific kid for the month of February. Alexis displays the qualities of a terrific kid as she is patient, helpful, kind, fair, and above all, honest. 
Alexis so shows that she is fair by always making sure her classmates are treated equally. She goes above and beyond to help her peers smile, even if she's not in the best of moods herself. The class had this to say about Alexis. She is a friend to everyone. Lexi bought three people snow cones so they didn't feel left out. How fair is that? Alexis is considerate of others' feelings and always an honest friend. She's an incredibly valued part of our class. We love you, Lexi. Never forget that you are terrific. Love always, Mrs. Carpenter. Isabella Fontanes. And it was written in cursive in my defense. <laughs> The student that exemplifies fairness in our classroom for terrific kid is Isabella. She demonstrates fairness by taking turns and sharing at all times. Isabella represents fairness because she doesn't take advantage of others. She exhibits an open-mindedness and listens to others. These qualities make Isabella well-deserving of being recognized as our terrific kid. Congratulations, Mrs. Coates. Thank you. Kenzie Arthur. Kenzie. <laughs> Kenzie Arthur for a terrific kid because she listens to others with an open mind, shares unconditionally with her classmates, and follows the rules and procedures of my classroom. Great job, Kenzie. Mrs. Redner Gould. <laughs> Michael D.W. Tyre. D.W. was voted this month's terrific kid by his classmates. They said he is a very good friend to others and treats everyone the same. He always returns items that he borrows and is always willing to share his own supplies. He is a joy to teach and I'm happy he's in my class. Miss Hill. Oh, thank you. Roy Collins. Roy Collins is a terrific kid. He is a true example of a fair young gentleman. Roy shows fairness by treating others the way he would like to be treated. He is always considerate of others' feelings and accepts everyone without judgment. Roy has high moral values and sees the good in everyone. He values others' differences and opinions and is well-liked by peers as well as adults. He is friendly, helpful, and follows all school rules without hesitation. I am honored to have Roy Collins in my fifth grade class, Miss Waltz. Deanna Valdez. Deanna Valdez is a terrific kid. She treats everyone with fairness and equality. She is always kind and considerate towards adults as well as her peers. She values others and is well liked by everyone. She is honest, well-mannered, and understands the importance of making good choices. She is an extremely hard worker and strives to be successful in all subject areas. You are a joy to have in class, and I'm honored to have Diana Valdez in my fifth grade room, Mrs. Warren. Mason Branham. Mason is most definitely an asset to my class. Mason is constantly raising the bar for academics in my classroom. He constantly tries his best in all of his work. Mason is a very caring fifth grader because of the many ways he helps his classmates. He is a valued member of his class and respected by all of his peers. Thank you, Mr. Watson. All right, all terrific kids, if you come up to the stage at this time. Changes catch your eye And you come to realize One can make a difference Reach out, stand out Find out what it's all about See it all, stand tall Be there to catch them when they fall Since 1915 Kiwanis International has touched millions of lives through thousands of service programs for children around the world. When you help one child, you help the world. Life is bigger than just one. But one can make a 
different.